Chat with us in Facebook Messenger. Find out WHAT and APOS's happening in the world as it unfolds. US led coalition destroyed and quad two artillery pieces, an anti aircraft weapon, and damaged a TANK and quad third time American warplanes have intentionally targeted Iranian proxies in Syria. The US led coalition announced Tuesday that it targeted pro Syrian regime forces that entered of and quad well established deconfliction zone in southern Syria. And quad and quote, despite previous warnings, pro-regime forces entered the agreed-upon deconfliction zone with a tank, artillery, anti-aircraft weapons, armed technical vehicles and more than 60 soldiers posing a threat to coalition and partner forces based at the Atanft garrison and quote, a coalition statement said. After several warnings over the deconfliction channel, the coalition destroyed and quad two artillery pieces, an anti-aircraft weapon, and damaged a tank. And quad al tanf on the Syrian-Jordanian border, which Russian warplanes bombed a year ago in two successive airstrikes, is manned by U.S. and British special forces that are advising an anti-ISIS Syrian rebel group known as Magar al thara or the commandos of the revolution. Pro Assad Shia militias backed by Iran have historically operated in that area. US officials publicly labeled the forces that entered the deconfliction zone as pro regime, but sources told CNN that they were largely Iranian backed Shia militias. The entire incident lasted about six hours, according to a US defense official, who said it began when pro regime forces inside the deconfliction zone came under attack by what were believed to be ISIS fighters. At this point, the U.S. contacted Russian forces through established deconfliction communication channels to tell all parties to leave the area. But instead, the pro-regime forces began bringing in additional fighters and equipment, a move that U.S. forces deemed a threat to American troops and prompted the bombing, the official said. Last week, the coalition said that a relatively and quote small LEMENT and quote of pro-regime forces continue to hold their position inside the and quote to see o and f l i c t i o and and quote zone surrounding the coalition training base. Coalition spokesperson, Colonel Ryan Dillon, told reporters last week that the pro-regime forces inside the zone represented an and quote armed and hostile PRASE and CE and quote and and quote they pose a threat to us in that particular location. And quote and quote we are prepared to defend ourselves if pro-regime forces refuse to vacate the deconfliction zone and quote, Dylan added. On May 18, CNN reported a similar incident when U.S.-led coalition aircraft bombed pro-Syrian regime forces that and quote were advancing well inside an established deconfliction zone. And quote, during that encounter, two U.S. aircraft were dispatched as of and quote show of FORCE and quote, to get a convoy of 20 pro-regime vehicles to turn around, a U.S. official said last month. The official statement said that the vehicles did not stop despite the show of force and warning shots. A second U.S. defense official said at the time that an airstrike hit the convoy after the vehicles continued toward the base, striking an enemy tank and a bulldozer or front loader type vehicle. The convoy appears to have consisted not of regular Syrian army soldiers but of international Shia militiamen.